What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Keeping It Real. Today is going to be part two of the 180 gallon tank build that I'm going to be doing for you guys. Part one was building the sump here. If you guys want to watch that video, I'll leave that link down in the description. But today we're going to be building the stand for this tank. Now I have a couple different examples here in the garage that I'm going to show you guys real quick. And I know there's a couple different ways to build these things and a million different ways to finish them. So I'm going to show you guys some examples that I got here. So this is one of them here. This one I made out of two by six. I kind of overbuilt it a little bit, but this is one of the first stands I ever made. This one is wrapped in plywood all the way around besides what you're looking at here. This is the back side of the tank. The front's got covered doors and whatnot, but this one is wrapped. It is finished. It's got trim around it, but it's not going to work for what we need it for. I also got another one over here same build except for this one's not wrapped it just has a piece of plywood on the top and this is going to be something that we're going to be building today in my final video i will wrap the stand but i want to get the sump under the tank get everything plumbed up before i go ahead and sheet it tools and material needed for this job you need something to cut with either a chop box circular saw it doesn't matter whatever you prefer you need a tape measure something to write with and a screw gun to put this thing together now materials are pretty basic. You need a box of screws. I recommend two and a half inch and you need some lumber. Now we're going to be building just the basic stand here. We're not going to be wrapping this thing. We will put one piece of plywood on top, but I'm going to rob it from this stand here because I no longer have my 300 gallon tank. So if you do not have a piece of plywood on hand, you are going to need one of those. But I got 14 pieces of two by four here. That should be enough to build this thing. So I'm going to get my table set up, get the saw set up, and we're going to get ripping down some boards here. All right, so now that we got all set up, we're ready to start cutting. I just want to show you guys a little bit of what I'm doing before we get started. And I promise my building is much better than my drawings. But here's a top view here. We're going to go six foot long by two foot wide. Now I'm doing six legs, one in each corner, two in the middle. And I'm going to build this thing at 40 inches tall. So... I'm going to go ahead, pre-cut a bunch of my pieces, then we're just going to start slapping this thing together. Alright, so I got most of the boards cut here. We got 16 supports, 6 legs, and 4 pieces at 6 foot long. I'm going to go ahead and lay these out on the floor and we're going to screw this thing together quick. Alright, so now that we got the top and the bottom base belt, we're going to go ahead and add one leg to each corner. We're going to leave the center legs out for now, but we're just going to get this thing off the ground and we're really going to start knocking this out. Let's go. Alright, so now that we got the main structure up, we're going to go ahead and measure the length, divide that in half. We'll add our two legs in the middle. Then we'll go ahead and add all of our supports. Now the bottom is going to be identical, so we'll flip the stand over, do the same thing to the bottom. Alright, so now that we got these boards cut, we're going to go ahead and screw those on. And I just want to let you guys know that all these measurements should be the same all the way around. 
If they are not the same, obviously you have something wrong. Recheck your work. But we're gonna go ahead and screw these things on and this stand is gonna be complete other than just throwing a piece of plywood on the top. All right, so for $45 and 45 minutes later, you have this aquarium stand. Now this thing turned out pretty slick. It fits my sump down here just perfect. I couldn't ask for that to turn out any better. Now I know I said I was gonna rob this piece of plywood over here and put that on, but I think I'm gonna hold off on that. I'm gonna buy a brand new piece of plywood to put up there. I might not add it in this video, but you guys get it. Cut it to the size of your stand, screw it down. Pretty easy, but hey, that's all I got for you on this video. If you guys are still watching and enjoyed that, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, leave me a like. Until the next one, guys. Peace.